This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got Sienna Colley with me from the Smith Falls Heritage House Museum. You are the program coordinator. We've got lots to talk about today. Welcome back. Thanks, Kathy. I always like coming on and chat with you, so this is great. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, I, first, I have to talk about, you know, driving by the Heritage House Museum at night. It looks beautiful. The lighting, you've got new lighting outside. Yes, we had new outdoor lighting um, put outside just recently, so it lights up the outside of the front of the museum, and we're actually hoping to do more eventually with it as well, but it looks great. It's a great start. It's a great start. Mm -hmm. Now, you're busy. You are, you are the program coordinator. You've got lots going on. Let's start with Earth Day. Yeah, so this is a program um, we did a few years ago, and it was even a few years before COVID. Um, and we've decided to kind of pick it up again. We have a lot of uh, events and festivals going on in fall. And so we really want to start doing something big in spring. Um, and we thought Earth Day would be the perfect time to do it. Um, celebrate the earth and uh, the importance of keeping the earth clean. So we have some beautiful grounds here at the museum and lots of space. So we're hoping to host, uh, well, we are hosting a little event here um, on Earth Day, which is the April 22nd. It's a Saturday. Um, we're going to have Junkyard Symphony come and do a little performance, and they use recyclable material. Um, we're hopefully weather permitting. I mean, this is a weather permitting event because it will be outside. Um, have some uh, trees to tap for, for maple syrup. Um, do some outdoor scavenger hunts. Um, we're going to have Tinkerbell come uh, and greet kids and things like that. So we've got a lot of fun things set up so far. Um, uh, it's currently advertised on Facebook, so we'll be updating with anything that we add to it um, and also as we get closer with the weather just to see um, how it'll play out. So I encourage people to keep an eye on their social medias for that. that I mean, that one is in April and, and we think it's going to be far off, but we're thinking spring and it really is only a few I weeks hope so. now. It's only a few weeks now. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. Right now is very snowy. That's so, right. Yes, yes, yeah. for sure, for sure. March of Museums Week, that's coming up as well. Yeah, so that's a really great program. We actually uh, just, well, it was created last year and that's when we participated in it. Um, it's run through CAM, which is the Kingston uh, Association of Museums. So they do this huge event where all of the museums in uh, this association, they get together and they create a craft that has to do with their museum. Um, so for example, this year we did Morse code bracelets um, and we actually made 200 baggies up with all the craft materials. They get sent to um, the CAM host site in Kingston and then they are delivered to the different participating sites. So if you're interested in just doing the craft bag itself, you can actually go online to the CAM uh, website and register to get a bag and then pick it up at one of the host sites. And the Smith Falls Heritage House is actually um, one of the host sites this year as well. So we've been uh, looped in with the Perth Museum and the Mississippi uh, Valley Textile Museum. So they'll be joining us here. Um, so there's that side of things where they, you can grab a bag and take it home and just do the crafts at home. Or you can come to our museum um, on Wednesday from 1 to 4. And we'll have some craft stations set up as well, so you can do the crafts in person. Um, but we're also going to have a few other things going on at the site. So we'll have some scavenger hunts. Um, we're going to get our bake oven going and make some little squirrel tails, which are like cinnamon sugar um, little treats. And then we're also having a spinning demonstration as well uh, to tie in with the Mississippi Valley uh, Textile Museum. Um, and lots of kind of like just little fun things to come in person to see as well. Now, you work for the school board as well, too. Is that March break that week? It is. Yes, it Excellent. is March break. Um, so March 15th is the Wednesday. Yeah. Okay, so it's something for the children to do? Exactly, yeah. That's right. Well, speaking of that, too, you have a St. Patrick's Day uh, on the Friday on March 17th for the children. We do. So this is really fun. We've done it for a few years past. Myself and my coworker, Aiden, we always love to put uh, our children's day camps on. So um, this year, just like last, it's actually on St. Patrick's Day, uh, which is a Friday. Um, and it is a St. Patrick's Day themed camp. So it starts at 9 and runs till 2 p.m. Uh, the cost is $30 and it's for ages 6 to 12. Uh, we're going to have crafts. We've got the day already planned. So we've got crafts, uh, scavenger hunts for the leprechaun's gold, um, some games and activities. We are hoping to get outside a little bit, depending on the weather, too. So uh, we still have some registration spots open for that. So if anyone's interested, they can go to our Facebook or Instagram pages to learn more, but they can also, and you'll find our contact information there as well. Um, so if you shoot us an email or give us a call, then we'll be able to get the form for you or answer any questions as well. 
All right, so St. Patrick's Day camp, you're looking for registration. If I can go back to the March of the Museums on uh, Wednesday, March 15th, that's a drop-in? Yes, that's so drop if you want to pick up the craft bags that have a craft from every museum and association, um, we do ask that you go to the CAM website and register for a bag, and we'll have it here for you. If you want to just come to the museum and do the craft here and participate in the other drop-in activities like the outdoor tour, or, or sorry, scavenger hunts and uh, the demonstration, things like that, that is drop-in. You don't have to register, and there's no cost. Great, great, great. Now, you had in the, the fall the Remarkable Women exhibit. It was a, a, a wonderful, wonderful way to honor people, uh, women in our, our community. Uh, it was wonderful, and you're, you're going to be sharing it with our community right now. Yeah, so that was super exciting. That was an exhibit that we had been planning for years. We'd always want to do uh, it. At the museum, we have a strong presence of women working here, too. So just something that was close to home and uh, with a lot of remarkable women in the Smith Falls area who lived or worked here. So it was really great that we were able to host that or have that and create that exhibit here with the panels and different um, artifacts and uh, pictures from different families in Smith Falls. We had a great opening day. Um, for the exhibit too and we had everyone come in and kind of see their panels so uh, we thought we'd like to keep that going um, and so we've reached out to local businesses um, around Smith Falls and uh, we've had quite a few accept um, the different panels so um, you'll be able to walk around town and go to the different shops and you'll be able to see some of the remarkable women that were hosted um, at the museum so a few shops will have just one person a couple can fit five or six uh, it just depends all right and and looking forward to because uh, you, you are so organized you and your team there at the museum mm -hmm. you've already got uh, dates for your Christmas and Thanksgiving and everything going on yeah the, the, the remarkable women exhibit are you doing it again this year and you're looking for more people I so we aren't uh, doing that one again this year. So that's why we've kind of, we still want it up and to be shown. So we've put it out in the town. We have a few actually really good um, art exhibits coming up, some local yes. artists that we want to host um, for exhibits. So we kind of have our year already planned for that, uh, for our exhibits. Yeah. Excellent. I mean, take a look at your Facebook page and, and uh, I saw you've got dates for everything this year too. Yeah. You're so organized. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we encourage people. Uh, we thought, well, if we already have the date locked down, then people can put it on their calendars and uh, get it up there. Uh, some of the events that are very far in the future, we don't actually have um, like hard details for, for certain aspects, but as we get closer, the, the pages will be updated. We've actually had Quite a few people already interested in our children's uh, summer camps in July and August, so that's super exciting. Um, you're, and you're more than welcome uh, to to call and say you'd like to you're interested in a spot. And when we get close to the dates, we'll send out more information and registration and things like that. Um, but yeah, for a lot of events, it's just kind of encouraging people to get those dates on their calendar and then like keep an eye out for when they'll be updated closer to. Uh, and I, I think of, uh, you know, especially the Halloween event that you have and the, the Christmas event. Mm. I know with my family and myself and so many people in the community, it has become an annual event. So it's much yeah. like the parades and much like, you know, so many other events that go on, it's an annual thing. So now that we know the dates, mark it down. Yeah, which is great. That's exactly what we wanted to do. We wanted to make sure people uh, had the time and kind of booked out that that time period to come on down so excellent excellent like we say too you have a facebook page and you've got a, a website yeah. as well too you keep everything yeah. up to date and uh people can get lots of information and how to get a hold of you and and where are you actually sienna where are, is the museum so the museum is uh located at 11 old size road so we're actually just right across from more reach park excellent excellent and if you drive by later at night in the in the when it's dark mm -hmm. out it looks absolutely beautiful as well <laughs> Oh, yeah. And we have lots of um, people come that just check out our grounds. Like in the winter, it's beautiful. Now there might be too much snow to walk around, but we encourage people just to like stop by and even just like use the gazebo and picnic benches and things like that in nicer weather. And actually, but, can you speak about the, the, you have a little library right at the front too. Yeah, so we do have um, the Smith Falls uh, Little Library here. We, there's a great couple people that update it. Um, we, they have an Instagram page. I can't think of the name off the top of my head, their specific uh, Instagram page, but if you search like Smith Falls, I think Little Book Library or something of the sorts, we share them a lot on our Instagram page too. You'll actually see when they update um, it with different books. Um, but we do get quite a lot of people. It's right out of our front door, just along the boardwalk. You can come by and you can take um, whatever books that would interest you. So we have a lot of people actually come and use it, which is great. 
That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Well, once again, Sienna Colley, thank you very much for joining us. We we're talking about the Remarkable Women exhibit going to be displayed throughout the town. We've got Earth Day coming up in April, mm -hmm. and we've got the March of Museums, Wednesday, March 15th, and we've got St. Patrick's Day Camp, Friday, March 17th coming up. Lots going on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. For more information, they can call you. Yes, they can call us at 613-283-6311. Um, or you can send an email actually to me at scolly at smithfalls.ca. Well, I thank you very much for joining us. I thank you for our Smith Falls Heritage House Museum. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. We're so lucky to have it here right in the middle of Smith Falls. Thanks for joining us, Sienna. Thanks, Kathy. It's always a pleasure to be on with you. So this is great. <laughs> thank you.